Got a big announcement for you guys. It's a big bass. Is that your big announcement? Yeah. I guess. Or you have something else to tell. I don't know. I think we're letting him out. I'm coming to see you. Oh, hearts. Oh, my gosh, you're amazing, mate. Hey, hi. Hi, hi. Everybody's been talking about how they miss the goats. They miss our videos. And we just wanted to give you guys an update video real fast and inform you about some pretty huge news. We'll wait till the end of the video for that. But for now, we're gonna talk about kidding dates. So, we're gonna start here with Shy. She's due two days before Valentine's Day, so she's due the 12th. She's our first one due, February 12th. And shortly after Shy, Dominique and Ruby got in with the Bucks. We put them in with the Bucks for a due date of February 14th. Both of those may have had to cycle again and go back in with the bucks, so they might not be as early as the 14th. But from that date on, we have a whole bunch of babies due from our herd. We have bred, hopefully bred, uh, we haven't done any pregnancy tests, but we've hopefully bred Shady, Flower, Fern, Time. I don't think Dottie was in heat when we were breeding. Uh, truly was, Patience was too young. Kitty was bred. Uh, Fancy too was bred, but she was bred and then came back into heat and then bred and then came back into heat. So I don't know that she took. Um, she is one of our goats that suffers from more copper deficiency than the others. So that could be a part of the reason why her pregnancy isn't taking. Rosemary was rebred and that's everyone I think. Yeah, so. Everybody, or not everybody, but a whole lot of new babies are about to be born at Wholesome Roots. <laughs> Autumn's trying to climb up you. So all in all, everything is going really good in the herd. We have a couple of does that are under con body condition score levels that we would like to bring up their weight on, but it's pretty normal reasons. Like Dominique, for instance, is elderly, so she's always got a lower body score than everybody else. And Fancy Girl is still nursing her baby, so she dropped a lot of weight with that. So we're gonna be catching up that and making sure that they stay strong and healthy throughout their pregnancy. We'll be giving everybody selenium and E once a month. Um, we'll be coppering everybody again. And at the last two months of gestation for each of the does, we'll begin feeding them extra grain. We always give our does a little bit of grain every morning and night to get them to come in and out properly and just to keep them in a nice body condition score. But when they're, when they're growing a big baby in their belly, we want to up that um, protein and also the calcium. It's really important that they get alfalfa pellets in that grain mix that we do, especially at the end of pregnancy, so that we can help prevent hypocalcemia during labor. Because it's winter, we are upping our hay ration. We're giving them more and more hay to help keep them healthy and strong and there's not as much to forage on anymore there's really nothing to forage on except for the leaves that are falling from the trees so we will continue giving them extra hay every day um, and any of the ones that are needing help with their body condition score will be adding in bee pulp this month as well um, bee pulp helps add on extra calories but it also um, adds extra nutrition too so it's not a bad thing autumn <laughs> doesn't need any of that <laughs> She's just a little pill. 
She's just a little troublemaker. She's a mama's girl. I think there's one due date that you did not mention. There is one due date that you didn't mention when you were talking about all the does. Who? Who? His butt. Um, well. Our due date. <laughs> Your due date. Say what? Say what? Say what? Yep. What's Liam's shirt say? Big Brother. Why are you wearing a Big Brother shirt, Liam? Because I'm going to be a Big Brother for our baby. What Who's baby? baby? The baby in that belly. This baby? Yeah. What's it going to be? A human. A human? <laughs> <laughs> I should hope so. Did you think I was going to have a goat? I'm so obsessed with goats. No, you're not going to have one. No! <laughs> Is it going to be a baby brother? No, I don't think so. What's it going to be? Baby girl. A baby girl. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to be great big brothers. They're going to be. I bet they love me. Hey boy. You are a goddess. <laughs> I'm a goddess. Let's go. She's just nibbling like the goat goddess. They come with me. It's like, Nazi Pena of the goat herd. Oh. <laughs> you weren't recording that, were you? <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Aww. It's not too good now. Yeah. Oh, I you. <laughs> good girls. Got good kids. They love their goats. I tell you what had their boys. Don't you dare do that. Oh, oh gross. Mr. Ottoman turned up. No, it's Mrs. <coughs> Mrs. Ottoman. So I guess that means that Autumn won't be the baby anymore. No. She's, the, she's always going to be our baby though. She'll always be our first daughter. <laughs> Your second. <laughs> Five kids. Yep. Wow. I never thought I'd reach that. And we got to tell everybody our huge announcement. That six pound bass. bass is going to feed us well. <laughs> I'm kidding. So in case you guys were wondering why I haven't felt like making videos in the last three months, that is why we're due April 29th. And this is... I love candy! A vibe! I love candy too. Subscribe please, we need a hundred gazillion subscribers. Please help us reach that big goal. <laughs> I really Google gazillion. Yeah. Yeah. More of these guys? I think we can handle it. <laughs> All right. I was definitely got the strap of the camera. <laughs> she She's silly. funny. All right. Bye bye. 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 bye.